Hello, I'm Mike Gordo. Welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Pokemon Yellow. Where last time I caught a few more Pokemon, holding my total to 142, and I got my eighth and final badge. We just have nine more Pokemon to go, as well as two duplicates I need to go back and try and catch. Yeah, I already caught- even though I already caught Minky and Primate, but I still need to catch a second copy of them because- because the trades I'm going to deal f over to Crystal with Minky, Primate, and the- and the duplicate Chansey are all going to be one ways. Or which Pokemon will this one be? Alright, Minky, it is. So I'm going to use Strength, because that gets them into Red Bar. Alright, two hits, good. I'm just going to th thrust a Pokeball at them. And yeah, I'm just going to blast through this. It's actually not the same jingle that you would get with the po with catching Pokemon in future generations, which I believe is the same thing as the badge jingle in future generations. All right, I caught Minky. Uh, two Minkies. One to keep and one to trade over to Crystal. And here's the second primate. And of course he starts with rage. He still wasn't a critical hit. Alright, let's try catching him. Two. Alright, it's good. It's good. Now I have my second primate. One to keep and one to trade. Now we are ready to take on Victory Road proper. Go. I'm gonna move my Pokemon so that Dragonite takes front row. Just gotta do the strength puzzle. I'm going to use the repel for the majority of the dungeon. The reason being is because most of the Pokemon I need to catch here are Pokemon that have low encounter rates until the bottom floor. And it's the bottom floor where those encounter rates can be best optimized. So I do hope that my Dragonite doesn't overload- I don't overload my Dragonite here, but at the same time, I do need to keep him st strong for the lead. Alright, cool. Cool, Char Sound, Nine Tails. Dragonite's used by Slam. So yep, I lost out. Yeah, you did. I can see you're good. Let me see how exactly. Yeah. Well, all right. And now we got about a bunch of uh, trainers here. Technically, not everybody, but just the trainers that are on the way on my way to the next legendary. Dragonite, use Thunderbolt. Alright, 
And I just say you just go use Charmeleon here. For boosted for more XP boost, and he's getting really, really strong. are faded. And now we can move on. Well, not quite. We still need to backtrack to pick up the other item. We got the rare candy previously. And now we're going to get the other item, which is TM-43 Sky Attack. Which sucks because it's a two to earn flying type move that you can't even and it doesn't work the same way as fly you're still vulnerable to attacks while it loads for another turn furthermore in future generations thanks to moves like protect detect and endure this plus is very easy to whiff on a move like that But wants to fight. And Thunderbolt. Chuck fainted. By Slam. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep on blowing, plowing through these trainers. All right, right, yeah. And now we need to make our way. Another buy slam should be able to one-shot this Persian, too. Alright! Alright! Dragonite Grill level 64! And now we're using another Thunderbolt. Fainted. Ash Defeated Tamer. I got whipped. Sure did. And there's a full heal. TM17. Is victory road too tough? Oh, Juggler wants to fight. Juggler stop Mr. Mine. I'm gonna go by slam. Now we are heading to straight to Moltres. And it doesn't matter if I waste some stuff because I need the uh, Max Repel to wear off sooner rather than later. And here's our uh, first Pokemon, uh, first true capture of the day. Moltres. Now, the Macho... But... No, I'm looking too far ahead. Alright, we got Red Bar, Freeze, and now we can try capturing it with the Pokeball. And we got Moltres. The third and final legendary bird. A legendary bird Pokemon. As it flaps its flaming wings, even the night sky will turn red. Alright. Now we don't. We, 
right now the gloves can finally come off and I can battle every trainer that remains in, on Victory Road. Oh. So, bye Slam. I got Thunderbolt. And something about Pokemaniacs is A, they have smart AI, and B, they tend to carry with them rare, very rare Pokemon. Oh. strongest moves, or moves that are super effective. Why? Because I'm 20 levels higher, so obviously I can one-shot everything very easily with Dragonite. Oh. Keep on at it, the Thunderbolt. As all 65. And I'm just gonna go horn drill the Arcanine. The rumors were true. Yeah, I pick up a Max Survive, though we don't have to worry about using it. We're gonna use Strength on this bowler here. And again, it doesn't matter if I waste a couple steps on my step counter, because I need to wear off the max repel now that we're in the topmost floor, and can actually capture the Pokemon we need at their best percentage points. Double check. There, Max Repel War off. And is it one of the three Pokemon I need? No. I already caught the Gold Bat in Seafoam Island, so I don't need to capture this one. Alright. Next Pokemon. No, we already have a Geodude, we caught it at Mount- We caught a Geodude all the way back at Mount Moon. But we're getting closer. Alright, what is it? Another Geodude, no! <sighs> Go about this trainer. These trainers are piss easy when you're 20 levels higher. And even though I need to do quad damage on a Parasect, I'm gonna do it anyways. Fireball ball on the Dugong. And buy a slam on the chancy. Because tons of HP but shit but shit defense. That was so strong. Alright, it's one of the three Pokemon I need. Matchoke. Uh, but trivia, I already caught Machoke in a previous episode via an in-game trade. 
I traded one of my two Cubones, the one that wasn't shiny for a macho, and that evolved into Machia. There is no way to skip trade or stone evolutions. There's no way to cancel those out. So when that macho comes in, looking to evolve via trade, there's nothing you can do about it. You gotta evolve into Machia. That's why I went around and bought this match show anyways. It's for living dex purposes. So we have two more Pokemon to go and they're the exact same species. Ugh, <laughs> sorry. I have no idea why I'm ta so tired. Now, why would I need to catch two copies of them? Because one of them is to keep as as is, and the other is I need to evolve again via trade evolution. In the early generations prior to Gen 4, I, anyways, there was no possible way to legitimately capture a trade evolution. Gen 4 was the first generation to break this rule. Anyways, we have beaten all the... Just about all the trainers here, there's just two more faces left. First off, I'm just gonna begin with Bi Slam. Just like that, we are just two Pokemon away from evolving. I want to hold on to my body slams as much as many of my body slams as possible because I'm gonna need them for these two captures. And again, the reason why I'm doing nothing about the random encounters is because I'm trying to capture these two Pokemon. Routes to Route 23 and Victory Road are the only locations in the maybe Indigo Plateau as well that will not play the bike theme when you get on the bike. In Round Blue, it will play the bike theme will override itself. So I have no idea what happened in Yellow Version that causes this glitch to occur. Safely. Ash found team of five. Yeah, I almost forgot about this one. And now I'm ready to face this trainer head on. I skipped him be previously because I needed Dragon Knight to be at a low enough level so that Ice Beam didn't one shot Moltres. Thank God it did it. Unfortunately, I don't really have any other good moves to deal with these psychic types, so I'm just spamming Body Slam. And he has four Pokemon, too. Which is just shit luck. Alright. With all that done... Level 67. And now, on 
this floor, we're gonna try to capture these two Pokemon. Come on, what is it? Uh, another Geo dude. Come on, game! I know it's 15% counter rate, so it's pretty so it's pretty uncommon, just, but just give me one to start. Uh, another Pokemon already caught. Onyx. Caught it back in Rock Tunnel. But wait, you might be wondering. Why don't I just... Oh, never mind. So this is the Pokemon I was looking for. There's two of them, and I ideally want to run into the level 41 Graveler. Why? Because level 47 Graveler is 50-50 chance of it going boom on it. Using self-destruct or explosion, but level 41, he does no self-destruct. Often seen rolling down mountain trails. Obstacles are just things to roll straight over, not avoid. So that was the first of two Gravelers I need to catch. I need to catch the other one so I could evolve it late in another ep in a later episode. And by later episode, I mean the very next episode. Because next episode of Pokemon Yellow is gonna be the finale. Alright, here's the other Graffler, and it's level 41, so I just have to deal with 25% odds rather than 75, rather than 50. And I got Parahax, good. And our... Good, perfect. Got Pokeball Go, and... Come on, it's 75%. Just 25% chance of me. And we caught the second Growler. Okay, good. Now we are completely done with Victory Road. All the remaining encounter. Oh, yeah, full restore here. Now we are completely done with Victory Road. All remaining encounters are either trade. Are either trades with Crystal or the, or the post game dungeon. Before we move on to the league itself, I want to rearrange my my uh, PC. Now, something worth noting is before I actually resume my perfect playthrough of Pokemon Yellow, I actually rearranged my PC box. I even off-screened to be in Living Dex order. Fifth, about average is out to about 50 Pokemon per box. The, the uh, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, as well as Dragonite that, that you see. Every Pokemon except Mew is a duplicate. That you see in my party is a duplicate. Pure and simple. So, I think I got confused with that the Sticky here. Sticky is Muck. And I think I thought to myself, oh, I probably need to move Sticky in Dex or no. And this is when I'm getting super confused. I realize I should... Come on. I realize I should start with Box 4 because that's the box with the most amount of Pokemon and a few amount of spaces to move between. So making a primate go out. And then I remove Growlithe, Arcanine, and eventually Poliwag. And then I withdraw Poliwag. And all that is done to put all these Pokemon in Dex order. And 
this one's very easy. I just have to remove the entire auto line and then deposit, uh, withdraw and then deposit the entire auto line. I realize that sticky is the trait of luck. Which we don't need. What we do need, however, are Buffy, the, uh, the Rhydon, and Cezanne, the Cezanne, the Dugon. Spike and sticky in order. Don't know if I necessarily need to do something like this, but I digress. So now I need a move seal and dugong over here. Even though seal is technically in. Dexor, I actually wanna... I wanna withdraw Grimer and Muck, and then Shelter and Cloyster. Shortly after. To ensure all my Pokemon remain in Dexor. And I need a deposit right on, and I basically need to gut out pretty much the entire box. It's ridiculous. Chansey, Tangela, and Kinga Scott to start. But on the ninth side, probably should have done King Horsey as well. Cedra. Actually, it would have mattered. So what I'll do now is move Vorsi and Cedra here. As well as Golden and Seeking. Yeah, people getting super paranoid about, oh, poison Pokemon or Pokemon with large horns poking at you with them. <sighs> yeah, me neither. Alright! And now I'm going to deposit Staryu Starmie. Now all the Pokemon in that BC are in Dex order. Still checking, box 12. Graveler here and Macho are the last Pokemon left to move around because everything else I'm going to trade. Yes, even though recently caught Articuno and Moltres, even though I never duped them. Because their trades, as well as Mewtwo, will come first and it's not going to be one way. I'll be duping the three of them in Crystal version and then trade those copies back to yellow in exchange for the second copies of Minky, Primeape, and the Duplicate Chansey, who are going forward one way. I 
have to be really careful with my placement. Alright, Machoke is in his rifle place, so now I get to deposit Geodude and grab him. To book in Box 5. Only one more Pokemon to go in Box 5, and thankfully is, it is Graveler's Evolution. Mew is taken out, and now we are taking out. And now we are withdrawing Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise once again. This is the team we are going to we are going to use to conquer the final couple tasks. Yo, Champa making a Pokemon League. You have to face the Elite Four in succession. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. So, yep. Now, before I move forward, I need to shop for some repels. Not sure how many, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy ten. I'm gonna earn all that money back at the Elite Four anyways. From here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. So no times like the present, let's take on the Elite Four. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to Icy Pokemon. Freezy moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Alright. So this is going to be really easy up until the very end. The reason being is because the Thunderbolt Dragonite with max TVs and IVs on special most of these Pokemon don't stand a chance. There's only one exception, and I'm gonna mend up an orange roll against them. That's all I'll say. Right, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt on the first three Pokemon. And that's easy. The next trainer is, uh,. So the next Pokemon uses Jinx, which is not a water type, not part, not whole. It's Ice Psychic, so Body Slam is the way to go. And because I'm a little nervous about his Lapras, I'm gonna go mid the Horn Drill. You could also try mid being a critical hit Thunderbolt, but I think this is faster. How dare you! You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. And now we are taking on Bruno. Wait a minute, before I heal. I am Bruno, the Elite Four. The rigorous training people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon. Ash, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo ha! And now we need. Now we don't really need Ice Beam. The uh, Thorn Drill per se, just need Ice Beam on the Onyx. And who knows? Uh. 68, perfect. One more level and it would be nice. Munchin, boosted 247.5. And I'm just gonna keep spinning ice speed the rest of the way. Because a deal, just to deal that little extra bit of damage over Thunderbolt to ensure the one shot. However, this last Pokemon is the exception. I need a Mendep the Horn Drill. Just four more Horn Drills to go. 
Why? How could I lose? My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Alright, now let's take on Agatha. Uh, first, I'm actually gonna feed Dragonite the 12 rare candies I've got st all stocked up. Really? Uh, I never did that in Red and Blue, so why now? Honestly, the reason why is actually because I had to end up a ton of critical hits just to make Agatha do- and freeze hacks. Just to make Agatha doable. So, I'm doing this so I can minimize, uh, RNG manipulations. Because of my spe- because of my Ice Beam and Thunderbolt can deal half damage, or at least over half damage, I'm basically in the clear as far as beating her. I am Agatha, the Elite Four. Oaks take a lot of interest in you, child. The old Duff was once tough and handsome. That's what- that was decades ago. Now he just wants to fail with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. Ash, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. So, looks like an old flame slash- flame slash, uh... RNG guy. So, well, the question is that Lil A will Ice Beam one shot Gengar? Ha! Huh, no. But at least I got Freeze off, allowing Thunderbolt to fish him off. But I got him in a red bar, I got also be manipulating a Super Potion. Now, here I'm gonna go ahead and use Thunderbolt. I'll go ahead and ice beam this Haunter. And there's the Super Potion. Thunderball is kind of... Alright, but gotta use Bomb. And I'm getting a little dizzy here. So I used by Slam on the on the Arbok for the one shot ice, and then I made up another freeze hacks on this time on the level 60 Gengar. Firebolt will finish him off, and that's it for Agatha. Woohoo! You're something so special, child. I know I am. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Row along now, child. And now, this is it. The shift back to the Indigo Plateau and Route 23 theme. This is it. Ah, uh, I heard you heard about you, Ash. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your Elite Challenge ends with me, Ash. Alright! Take on Lance, the dragon man, the dragon tamer, because Ash and the anime never got to battle him in the World Coronation series, or at any other point. Thunderbolt is an easy first move. Quad weak against th electric attacks and 30 levels below me. And then these Pokemon are pretty frail, Dragonair, so Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Beam. Fainted. So Dragonair, and I'm gonna go ahead uh, with another Ice Beam. In fact, this is probably the easiest of the Elite Four trainers as far as Dragonite's concerned. 
Agatha's the hardest, because the ghost's high beam. Alright, there it is. Fainted. Level 81. And now I get quad. <laughs> his dragon eye for quad weak. That's it. I hate to admit, but you are a Pokemon master. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Ash. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Gary. He beat the Elite Four for you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. <laughs> and the anime is voiced by Joey Wheeler. Hey! I was looking forward to seeing you, Ash. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now... I'm the Pokemon League Champion! Ash, do you know what that means? I'll tell you! I am the most powerful trainer in the world! And the final battle against Gary O! Go that Gary! I'll show you! Alright! So I'm gonna start with Ice Beam on Sand Slash. Very, very easy. And I'm gonna go by Slam, Alakazam. Again, easy choice. Frail as, frail as fuck on the defensive side. And now, with the Executor, I can't, with, and three others, I'm just gonna minette four consecutive horn drills. Yeah, that's it. Total anti-climax, with the I completely massacre the Elite Four with just a Dragon Knight, and I didn't take a single point of damage this whole time. Heck, I probably could have used an X Accuracy to start, but I never used it. Alright, level 82. Gary sent out Jolteon, and I'm gonna fish him off with another horn drill. For the OTK. No, that can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become lead champ? My reign is over already? It's not fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Ash! So you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Pikachu. Ash, you have come of age. Gary, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. But I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you know why you lost? Yeah, I've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Ash, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Ash, come with me. Alright, and now... <laughs> Congratulations, Ash. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League Champions are honored for their exploits here. 
Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Ash, you have endeavored hard to become the new league champion. Congratulations, Ash. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And that's it. Our uh, signature Dragonite is now officially in our Pokemon Yellow Hall of Fame, as well as our Pika Star Pikachu. Been with us from the very beginning. Sounds really happy. Mew, been with us for a really long time. I believe since... Cerulean. Venusaur here, my cut user. Hall of Fame. Charizard, my, uh... Level 30 Flame. And my Fly and Dig user, Hall of Fame. Blastoise, my Surf and Strength user. Hall of Famer. Yeah, I have four HM slaves. One for each set of scene, one for a four own, Pokedex rating. I have nothing left to say. You're the authority now. Yep. But we still have, uh, se yeah, seven more po- Yeah, seven more Pokemon to go. Before we can officially bring yellow version to a close. I still need Sandslash, Lickitung, uh, Lickitung, Golem, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, and Mewtwo. Golem is a trade evolution, Jinx, Electabuzz, and Magmar I will be getting in a trade with Crystal version. And Sandslash... But Sandslash, Lickitung, and Mewtwo are in the final post-game dungeon. Yeah, we're basically done at this point. Just one more episode to cap to complete the yellow Pokedex. And that's literally it. I honestly can't believe it. So, yeah. US version staff? Coronation, Gale Tilden, Yoko Kawa Kawakami, Stara Osborne. Text translation, Nob. Yeah, I'm just. That's it. So that's the last set of tasks left for me to complete. Uh, next time we are taking on the final episode of Pokemon Yellow, where I will finally complete the Pokedex for Generation One. And we will finally be able to move on to Generation 2 full stop. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. With all out of the way, this is Mike Gorn, sign out.